Hello Libra, welcome to a love reading. So let's jump right into it for Libra. Let's see what messages we get for Libra spirit. Messages for Libra, please. When it comes to love. All right, Libra, let's start with past energies. What are the past energies for Libra? When it comes to love. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. Nice. Something quick happening. Uh, this is recent past energy. Remember that time is fluid, but for the sake of this reading, the recent past, um, some sort of action being taken, movement, um, motivation, in and out kind of energy because the Knight of Wands is very kind of, uh, they can be erratic, um, impulsive. All right, tell me the energy for Libra. What is Libra's energy? Oh, the Magician and the Knight of Cups Reverse. Interesting. I feel like you've been trying to manifest someone uh, to tell you something, um, express themselves in a romantic way or um, in an apology. What's going on in this connection? Present energy, please. Wow, we got the Four of Wands. Four of Wands. This is like stability, harmony, domestic bliss. You get one more for present energies. Some sort of celebration. And there's the Knight of Swords. A lot of movement here. You got three knights on the board. What are their energies? What is the person coming Libra's way? What are their energies? What are their energies? Ten of Pentacles, Star Reverse, Aquarius Energy, okay, near present, I mean, near future energy, please, Spirit, what is coming, Libra, near future, okay, the Hangman Reverse, so I'm getting uh, two very distinct energies, like a push and pull here, I feel Actually, no, the hangman is not in reverse. If I said the hangman was in reverse, I lied. He's upright. So the hangman and the new... So again, what I was saying makes sense anyways. Um, there's a lot of movement and then there's stagnancy. So there's, there's movement, but then there's also like a feeling of being stuck, of having like a, like a waiting period. I feel like something is is developing right now, Libra, because I feel so much energy. Um, and the Knight of Swords could be even surprising. Like, they just come barreling in. And if you're not careful, they can run you over. <laughs> um, it's just very, um, almost uh, surprising, unexpected. Um, they're very um, hmm, brunt, brutal, brutally honest. Um, blunt, that's the word, blunt. Um, this is someone that has something to say though. That's the main energy I'm picking up. Let's get some romance angels. Spirit, tell me more about this situation for Libra. Get some energy just here. Tell me more about what's going on for Libra. Religious factors spiritual card so for me this is very similar to um divine timing um spirit influencing your spiritual path divine timing makes sense here because i feel like things are developing um at a, and it's like a special piece <laughs> um well we got reconciliation all these other cards i'm gonna put them back because i just want one but interesting okay can i get one more please for libra Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And bottom of the deck, give your, your, if I can speak, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Again, you know, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to clarify to get more information. But initially what I'm getting here is there's, there's more than meets the eye. There's very back and forth energy. Maybe you're not on the same page with this person. Um, you definitely are trying to manifest something. But, you know, on your end, 
something is not coming. There's nights all over the board, but your night, the night that you're waiting for is reversed. I have you on this side, Libra. I have your person on the other. Feel free to flip them if they resonate more. But what, that's what I'm seeing right away. Of course, when I clarify, we'll know more. Now, Ten of Pentacles on your person's side here. This is long-term stability. This is uh, traditions, family, commitments. Um, the ten, ten is like the pinnacle. So uh, I have, with your person, the star reverse. So it's almost like you're mirroring each other in a way. The star reverse is something that needs a lot of healing. This is something that um, someone could be losing hope or losing faith in something. Something feels hopeless. Um, so let's clarify. Let's get into this and see what we can. Actually, I'm going to use this little tiny deck. And there you are, Libra. Justice, the bottom of this deck. What did I do? Okay. Um, Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Libra, please. Tell me more about these energies. Tell me more about these energies. The near future, I have the hangman. So it's either someone's getting clarity or someone's not really moving. Um, they're just thinking, reflecting. And they might even be feeling stuck. Let's see. Let's start with this Knight of Wands. What happened with this Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Judgment reverse. Get one more for this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Knight of Swords reverse. I feel like this is someone that jumped into something and um, it was a bad judgment call. Can I get one more please for this Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Fool, yeah. So this could have been someone that um, wanted, uh, this could have been some very new energy. I do have flirt here. Um, this could be somebody that wanted to, um, well, I have the eight of swords reverse. So they might've been breaking free, taking a risk, um, feeling like, oh, I'm free, but I feel like that was a bad judgment call. I have judgment reverse. I have the knight of swords reverse. Knight of swords reverse is someone that's not really on your side or um, what I'm picking up here is like someone didn't have all the facts, didn't think things through, or possibly was self-deceiving themselves in some way. Why is judgment reverse? Why is judgment reverse? If I could shuffle this stuff. Why is judgment reverse? Okay. Nine of cups. Yeah. I feel like this is someone that thought they were going to get their wish fulfillment. Possibly they were thinking of themselves, um, their own satisfaction, thinking maybe the grass was greener on the other side. They might have broken a commitment to do this. I have Gemini or the lover's reverse, which is Gemini energy. So something happened in the past between you and this person. This could also have been your person like on their own before they met you. Um, this could have been you that this that, you know, did jumped into something. I feel like something sounded good in the beginning or looked good in the beginning. Maybe it was really attractive to someone, um, but I don't think they thought about it very well. Let's see, I have the magician here. So I feel like you're trying to manifest something. I'm trying to make something happen here. So let's see what that is. Spirit, tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? Eight of Swords reversed. Again, the breaking free. No longer feeling fear. 
or feeling restricted. Tell me more about the magician. It's like you're manifesting freedom of something. Where's the magician here? The devil. Wow. Okay, I, kept, I saw the devil while I was shuffling too. Nine of Swords Reverse. I don't know if you're manifesting this for yourself, Libra, or for someone else, but it's like you're manifesting someone breaking free of something toxic or unhealthy, excuse me, or something that keeps them stuck. So you could be manifesting to be free of this on your own or for someone else. Capricorn energy with the devil. Tell me more about the devil. Why is the devil here? Nice the devil here. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's struggling. Yeah, I have the Four of Swords at the bottom. So it's like maybe they need to heal from this or perhaps there's no movement. Maybe they're stuck somewhere, but they're unable to move. Maybe this is financial for some of you with the Five of Pentacles. Someone is tied up somewhere because of money. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? This could be heartbreak as well disappointment someone's you know dream being shattered also the knight of cups tends to say whatever they need to say to get you to pay attention to them so they can be a little manipulative um, in their actions or their words so let's see why is the knight of cups reverse which one is it seven of wands reverse why is the knight of cups reverse death king of swords reverse scorpio energy with death and i have the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck here some of you are probably um okay i'm getting so many messages hold on my, my brain um Okay, this is a very specific message for some of you. It's not gonna resonate with everyone. And uh, as always, this is a general reading, so it cannot resonate with every single person. Um, but I feel like there's a very specific message for some of you. Some of you are dealing with someone who told you they were going to end a situation or walk away from something. And they're not really meaning that. That's not, that's, that's something they've said. They don't have the strength or the courage to do that if they told you that that's for some of you for others of you i'm picking up that you are trying to leave a situation be free of a situation end a situation walk away from someone i feel like you're manifesting this you're manifesting like a departure on your own the star reversed right after that possibly you gave up on something or something feels hopeless or you know, it's too much for you or it's too difficult for you. If this isn't you, it's your person. So what is going on here with the, now I have the four of wands and I have the 10 of pentacles. So there's a good possibility that one of you is in a commitment of some sort living with someone. Why is the four of wands here? Okay, all of those fell out. So let's just take them, this one too. Knight of Wands reversed. The Hangman, once again. The Moon, Pisces energy. The Sun reversed. Wow, something definitely hidden here. These two cards, this is like my something's hidden card here. The Sun is blocked and the Moon is in its place. So there's some secret or mystery here. And the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there's a commitment here. But there's something off about it um if there's an offer being made there's something that's that you don't know um if you know if there's a commitment right maybe you didn't know someone was in a commitment some of you here i feel like someone stepped out of a commitment um that's for others of you because i have the knight of wands reversed they tend to uh, be kind of playful flirty but they aren't really ready to commit so this knight of wands reversed with this ace of pentacles doesn't make sense 
So um, this could have been, you know, someone that didn't stick around for a long time, but made promises they couldn't keep. Um, something is off here. Then I have the hangman. I feel like you know this, or you had um, some sort of clarity about this. You or someone else, because this could be you or the other person. Um, but the hangman could also symbolize someone that's not moving, not taking action. So the knight of wands being reversed with the hangman is telling me no movement. But then I have the Knight of Swords. So see what I mean? There's like um, like a disconnect here. It's like almost like someone saying one thing and doing another. Or someone uh, making plans but not taking action. Um, someone um, rushing in but then not crossing the door. You know, that's kind of the energy I'm, I'm picking up here. Like it's not complete. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Tell me if that's resonating down in the comments. That's the Knight of Swords here. Justice reverse. Libra, there you are. Um, something's unfair, unbalanced. This could be someone coming in to tell you the truth about something. Because something was not true, not balanced. Tell me more about Knight of Swords. This could be something you find out online. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Nine of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Cups reverse, yes. Um, this could also be someone that is uh, is trying to, well, that's a very specific message. Um, there could be somebody that's trying to free themselves in a legal sense, but they're still attached. There's heartbreak here because someone is still attached to something. And I have the Strength card reverse, Leo energy. There's, there's a lack of courage here or someone doesn't have control over the situation. They might be trying to control the situation and it's probably backfiring if that's the case. Justice reverse. This could be something that does not go your way or does not go their way. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Wow, okay. Seven of Swords reverse. Ah. Ten of Cups. King of Wands reverse. Yes, I feel like someone here, they got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. And I think it affected a commitment or a family situation. This is uh, on your person's side, but of course, feel free to flip it. Um, Seven of Swords reverse. Someone is being seen very clearly here. And with the King of Wands reverse, this is someone that jumps into things without looking, without thinking. They have a temper. Controlling energy. Why is the Star reverse? This could also be somebody that they're dealing with as well. It does not have to be specifically the energy that your person is bringing to the, this situation, but it could be the, someone they're dealing with. Why is the Star Ace of Wands. So someone here has hope for a new beginning, but it's, it's starting to, maybe they don't have um, faith in or hope in it happening anymore. Tell me more about this story. They had having a change of heart, changing their mind about something, um, opening their heart to something new. This is opening your heart to a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands, but why the star reverse? That tells me that they don't really trust that this could happen. Six of Pentacles. Um, maybe they want to heal this situation or rebalance the situation here. Have a new beginning. Um, but I feel like the situation is, I don't know, the, the Page of Wands reverse. So this is someone that can't even take the first steps to do it or get something done. Right behind that, the Ten of Wands. They could be burdened by responsibilities, obligations, or um, they're being held back in some way. very interesting I'm not getting any cards about love I don't feel that I feel like I don't know it's it's almost like the there's an illusion here I have the moon I have the sun reversed I have the hangman twice um, there's clarity about an illusion I have the fool I feel like someone um, the fool with the nine of cups someone really thought that things were going to work out um, I feel like they they jumped into something and they didn't really think about how they would affect others or how the situation would unfold. They didn't have that clarity. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here?
You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. So again, someone that wants to make a move of some sort, but is not moving. So, you know, there's that. There's And then there, I have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Not working, not putting in effort. Cancer energy here. Someone could be um, in a commitment and wanting to leave it, but they're not moving. Um, someone could be wanting stability to head to something that's more stable, more long term, but they're not moving. They're just thinking. Tell me more about the chariot. This Ten of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is a, something that looks good on the outside. Someone that is playing a part. Yeah, someone wants to leave a situation, Eight of Cups with the Chariot. That's clear as day. And then look what's at the bottom of the deck again. Eight of Pentacles reverse. This is something that cannot put effort into something or is unable to put effort into making this happen. Let's get some insight into your energies, how you feel about each other. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is linked down below. It's available for purchase if you're curious. Spirit, give me some more insight into Libra and this other person. Tell me more about Libra's energies. Taking action. So I feel like you're probably the one that wants to move here, wants to be free. Movement, action, courage, time to make a move. Perhaps this is someone that you're dealing with that doesn't want you to do that. Or perhaps there's a barrier for you and that's why it's not really manifesting. Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their energies? Again, feel free to um, flip it. Patiently waiting. Waiting, patience, faith. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. So this is someone that possibly is trying not to give up hope here. And then bottom of the deck, I have walking away. So it's like they're patiently waiting for someone to walk away. It could be that your person's waiting for you to walk away from a situation. Or vice versa let's see what what would your person tell you if they could what are they secretly thinking or feeling I'm using my secret moon oracle deck what are they secretly thinking or feeling about Libra spirit what are they secretly thinking or feeling about Libra so I feel like in the near future what's going to happen is someone is going to have that desire to walk away from a situation make some sort of move um, I feel like right now they're just thinking about it, though. I feel like this is developing. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Libra? I wasn't honest with you. See, that's why they have that Seven of Swords reverse. They got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. I'm afraid, and I want forever with you at the bottom of the deck. So they're afraid of something. Possibly that's what's holding them back. Spirit, any guidance for Libra, please? Any guidance? Victory will be yours. Any guidance for Libra? That is way too many. Can I get one more, please, for Libra? Guidance. Be careful. Oh, okay. I have bottom of the deck, take a risk, and then be careful. I feel like this is the back and forth here. I feel like Spirit is saying you can still take a risk. Just be careful about it. Think about it. Success will be yours no matter what, you know, what are you thinking of. But right behind that, I have released the past. So um, I feel like you're the one, the one that's taking action here. I feel like they don't have anything to worry about. There is risks involved. They just have to be careful about them. Um, leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I read almost all of the comments. So um, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.